Hey everybody, welcome to group. This past week, we had a little more intense kind of conversation, and yet we needed to have it because all of us are going to experience this in, in our lives, and it could be you've already experienced it. What do we do when it feels like God is, is absent? I'll confess this to you. There have been moments in, in my life, and I do this Christian thing for a living, right? There have been moments in my life where I'm like, God, do you know my name? Are, are you still there? Is, is my prayer a, a waste of time? Do, do, do you hear me? And, and the reason that I felt that, the reason that I thought that is because life was so painful. And, and yet the truth is, the Bible says that God will never leave us or forsake us. He is with us. And here's what I've learned in, in my life. Sometimes when God seems absent, that's when he's doing his greatest work. I'll, I'll say it again. I mentioned it this past weekend. But I mean, think about when Jesus was on the cross. Everybody, all of Jesus' followers thought, this is over. We thought he was the Messiah. We, we, we thought God was, was working. And now he's on a cross. And yet in that moment, what was actually happening? God was doing a saving work that would ripple out across the pages of history, even to this very moment. When it seemed like God was absent, he was doing his, his, greatest, his greatest work. I, I'm gonna ask you in, in group today, somebody's gotta go first, but I'm gonna ask you to be vulnerable. Has there been a time in your life when you felt like God was absent? And you know what? It, it could be that it's right now. And if that's where you are, that's okay. If you're like, life's hard right now and I'm doing this series and I don't know where God is. And if you have all those emotions, let me tell you what you are. Look at me. You're normal. You're normal. The Bible is full of people. There are pages and pages of scripture of people questioning God when it seemed like he was, he was absent. But listen, that's one of the reasons why he, he gave you this group. That's one of the reasons why he gave you the church so we could help each other in those moments of life. And all of us experience those, those times. And it could be that today in group, that this is a moment where God wants to minister to you through other people. So I wanna encourage you just to be vulnerable. Has there ever been a time in your life where it felt like to you that God was, was absent? Does he feel absent to you now? Has there ever been a time where you're like, God, where, where are you? Let me, let me pray for you. This is going to be a good group. And I, I've been praying for you. And, and I really pray that today is, is helpful for, for all of you, for all of us. Let me pray. Father, speak to us in our group today. Holy Spirit, I, I want to ask you right now just to guide every conversation. I'm going to ask that, that maybe as, as a group, um, this is the day where, where we go past, just kind of generally talking about things, to, to getting honest and, and really talking about our lives. Thank you for the gift of the church. Thank you for the gift of groups. Thank you that um, we can help each other, even in our times of doubt and frustration with you. I pray that you would bless group today, Holy Spirit. I pray you would be on the move, and I pray that you would minister to your children. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Has there ever been a time in your life where you felt like God was absent? Have a good group.